Do you hate rolling with the big guys? Are you tired of getting smished? Well, look no further, because today I'm going to be rolling with Josh Alter, a 210-pound purple belt hailing from Sweet Home, Alabama. My name is also Josh. I'm a 150-pound blue belt, and today we're going to see who comes away with the title of Best Josh. And along the way, I'll be giving you guys some tips about rolling with bigger people. The roll starts with Josh Alter already putting on the pressure, attempting to pass my guard. Against big people especially, you don't want your guard passed. He then grabs an overhook and sits back on my leg. It's good to drill blocking the foot when they try going to Ashi so you have that automatic reaction. I try backstepping to escape, but he swings his leg around and starts looking for a heel hook. I'm safe for right now because my knee line's out. To finish the heel hook, he needs my knee caught between his legs. That's why he comes up to suck my knee line back in. He tries finishing the heel hook, but because my knee's out, I'm safe and I'm able to turn with the pressure. He sees that he's not getting the finish, so he lets go and we reset. One thing about rolling with the bigger guys is that it's always good to be on top. This is because when you're on bottom, they can put all their weight on you and it can get very tiring. I start knee slicing to get past his guard. He tries bumping me off by a base and then start going for a spinning arm bar. Always be ready to base when you're pinning down someone bigger than you because the last thing you want is to get rolled over. I knee slice over the frame on my hip so I can spin around for the armbar. I swing my other leg over and I grab onto his leg to make it harder for him to come up. He locks up a rear naked choke grip but I bring my top leg over to break it. Then as he reconnects his hands I switch to an inverted triangle. As I try pulling his arm in to fully lock it in, he bridges up and I have to bail. I grab a Kimura grip and I start looking to go to his back. As I try going for the chair sit, his head slips out, so I have to go back to the armbar. Josh Alter uses his elbow to push my foot in between his legs and trap it, and then he starts to come up. Josh starts putting my knees together and coming around for the guard pass, but I'm able to use my knee and my forearm as a frame. I lift up my right shin and I use my elbow to make space for my knee to come in. Then I push Josh away and bring my feet back in front of him to regain my guard. I fake an arm drag and then come up for a double leg. Then I lock a body lock around his lower back and I start working to get past his hooks. From this position, I'm trying to step my knee over his knee to force half guard, but Josh really pushes my face away, which makes it difficult. This is probably the worst part about body lock passing because you can't use your hands to break their frame so they can just keep pushing on your head. I'm able to free my knee and start knee slicing. Then I pause for dramatic effect and grab a cross face. I knee slice my leg through to completely get past his quarter guard. Then I start working to isolate his arm. I try to use the underhook to trap his other arm as well, but he's able to straighten out and get it free. He starts bucking me off, so I go to neon belly. From neon belly, I like to wait for people to push on my knee because it gives me the opportunity to get an underhook, which I can use for spinning arm bursts. When Josh pushes on my knee, I try getting my underhook, but I'm not fast enough and he's able to get his knees in. I start working some loose passing. I leave my leg in a bad spot, which gives Josh Alter the opportunity to enter my legs. I don't mind playing legs with bigger people because I find it's one of the areas where size matters the least. One example of this is Lachlan Giles, who only weighs 170 pounds, but was able to run through the absolute division with leg locks. I try to pull my leg out, but Josh Alter keeps a tight hold of it. One thing I like to think about during leg locks is push-pull. I'm trying to push his legs away as I'm trying to pull my leg out. When I sit down, I'm able to partially pull my knee line out so I can bring my other leg over to start countering. I end up being able to lock up the 90-10 position just before the round ends. The round starts with me on top and Josh Alter playing butterfly guard. I bring my chest forward and belly flop into a body lock pass. I sprawl my leg past his hook. 
Then I bring my other leg around so both my legs are behind his shin. From here, all I have to do is get over his knee to finish the pass. As I get over his knee, I try switching to north-south, but he keeps a tight hold on my leg. As I try to go knee on belly, he brings my weight forward and enters into my legs. I try to control his feet, but he's able to swing it around. I try pushing on his thigh to escape, but he pushes off my foot, so I have to spin through. I'm able to slip my knee line out, so he starts transitioning over to the other leg. His control gets loose, so I'm able to start push-pulling my leg out to escape. I start going for a knee slice, then switch to north-south. I go to knee on belly, then I slide my knee through to trap his arm. I grab a Kimura grip, and then Josh taps because his stomach starts hurting. And then the roll ends there. Thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you put in the comments what you want to see next. Thank you for watching. See you next time.